Hey, we're here once again, still at the HuntCon 213 10th anniversary show in what is technically Grapevine, Texas, but it's all Dallas to Dallas, me. I don't Texas. know, you know. And we're at the Hearst competition. And I understand Ann Jeanette here has already taken a gander at uh, some of the vehicles, yes, right? Yes, 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 yes. I've looked at them all, of course. I mean, there's some, there's some very, very fabulous, interesting, unique things here. Um, and I have picked a favorite, and I think it's obvious who my favorite is. Well, see, I don't know who your favorite is, and, you know, I have just kind of made a run through, but I got to say, this this hearse with the guy I think you all know as Jason, right? That's Machete. The one. I kind of like that, you know. And and if you'll follow us, we'll get a we'll get a peek at it, right? Mm-hmm. You know, if you check this guy, he doesn't just stand there; he actually moves. Oh wait. You know. No, he's got to come down. Oh, wait, he is. You got, you've got the whole nine yards going and like, you know, it's Jason. How could you not love the guy? I know, like, pose with me, pose with me, and he's like not cooperating. I know, he won't bring your own down. Bring it down. Oh. Oh, there you go. And you see, I mean, this is a guy that, you know, his mother, I mean, he had the best mother in the world, Miss Warren. She killed for him. Yes. You know? Like he needed any help. I mean, really, come on, you know? And, you know, obviously in the back there's all kinds of stuff, but yeah, you know, I don't know. He is creepy, isn't is he not? Oh! He's, he's like an extra in like the quick and the undead. Like, you know, he's here, right? <laughs> and he, right? The quick and the undead is perfect. The best of the dead don't stay buried. There's the key. Oh, you, oh, you. <laughs> I say they say smoking kills but you know for people like me who do smoke hey if I'm gonna go out I want to go out and still smoke so this is my kind of hearse okay I mean take me to my final resting place still enjoy Woo! oh wait we oh, have yeah. it holy crap Where's something's happening something's happening it's coming alive <laughs> oh god it's awful yeah See, I'm kidding. I really can inhale that stuff all day. It doesn't bother me. <laughs> if you're going to go out, again, go out in style, okay? Nice, polished, okay? I mean, none of us want to have to, like, figure out how it feels to be in one of these things until we're 110. But, you know, come on. When you go, you may as well go in style. The skulls and whistles. The skulls. And skulls whistles. and whistles. And this, you know, come on. I mean, this could be the little girl from the yeah, night of the living dead. I'd be more impressed if she come moved. Come on, how cute is she? Huh? Oh, I'd be more impressed if she I moved. I don't know if her eyes actually moved, but I mean, come on. She's so cute. Nice. She is cute. It's a face that sure. every parent could love. Right. Maybe. Yeah. Almost. That's right? Good. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, she will too bad. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got the baby from, uh, it looks like the baby oh, from It's okay. Alive. For you people who oh, remember yeah. the uh, the Larry Cohen yeah. film, right? and the fang teeth, yes, it's got to be. Oh my God! The fangs, uh, the fangs, and the claws. Well, it's a, it's a zombie baby. It's a zombie baby, but he looks like. But I get like it. Yeah, it looks alive. like it's alive. Oh my gosh! That's the perfect claw. So, I mean, you know, how cool is that? I mean, if, if I were gonna, if I had to pet a kid, I would have loved to pet a kid like that. You know, one that I could sick on, get to that I didn't like. I mean, come on, let's face it. No. I don't like Gage. Like yeah, Gage would have been cool, but I don't know. I think an infant, they don't expect that. Always you know? like a boy. The enemies that you have in life, you know, that boss you hate, whatever, you know, you say, hey, come yes. over, hold the kid, the kid chews their throat out. It's a good thing. No, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Yes, All right. But these guys, Bobby and Brendan, uh, they won what is the first show competition. And I gotta say, uh, I did like their first the best. It was awesome. They had an animatronic Jason, uh, animatronic zombie. It was too cool. Smoke coming out of the back, and I kind of made a joke because I'm a smoker. I said, you know, when I go, you know, they always say, hey, smoking is good. I don't need a hearse, and I say, well, when I go, I want my, I want the hearse smoking too. Okay. But what gave you, gave you guys the idea to create that design for the hearse? Well, I, I've been a huge Jason Voorhees fan since right. my mom took me to see the movie when I was 10 years old, and it's, yeah. it's left an impression on me. <laughs> and 
indelible imprint. And then uh, father, son, my love for the genre of horror has passed on, and we just we just have fun. He's a zombie yeah. fanatic, so we kind of got the best cool. of both worlds in our. And we got the idea to do a, get a hearse a couple of years ago at Fright Row. They had a hearse show. They used to have one. And we said, hey, we could do this. And, they, and you did a good job, too. I mean, obviously. When it came to, did you create the animatronic Jason? I mean, uh, how did how it come you order that stuff? No, uh, you make it. I, I ordered that online. I got a half price at the other one. So, so we, see, you I mean, take I, advantage of them. I, I, that's cool. So what do you think about this? Do you enjoy it? Yeah, I'm not that much of a Friday the 13th movie. Right, right. Well, he's young, right? I mean, he'll, he'll come around. He'll come around and die. He'll catch you outside. So you're a zombie player. So, so, so what do you think of the zombie players? You know, like Nine of the Living Dead, Original Zombie. George Romero. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, the trophy that you got, hey, this is for the uh, best purse at Hong Kong 213. And I want to congratulate you guys. And again, you did a great job, and it's been a blast. And one day, hey, while I'm still living, you know, maybe it's the next Hong Kong. Thank you for riding your purse. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Thank Thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate it. <laughs>